Okay, time for Act 2, 8 o'clock. As soon as we move away, the clock will chime 8. Like that, and we'll get another hint. And we'll keep on going. Skedaddled. Alright, with more anagrams. Um, desk is what we're looking for this time. Sked anagram. Of course, we saw one in the library, so let's go over there. Fortunately, it's not too far from the gallery, thanks to the, um... It's not really a secret passage, it's pretty much the only way in and out of the gallery through the, the grandfather clock. So, go to the library, and yeah, it should be the desk there, that's what we're looking for. There's also like an ink stand there, but that's separate, we don't want that. And it backs us all the way up. We just want the desk. We don't want the pipes. Just the desk. Ooh, creepy. Right. They're not even giving us a video. What the heck? They're giving us another another clue. Part of the body examined in doctor's office. Um, I don't remember. This isn't really an anagram, I think. But I think if you take certain letters from a doctor's office... Actually, maybe just... Is it doctor's or doctor's office? I don't know, if you just, um... If you take the... I think if you take the D out of... Doctor's, and then rearrange the letters, you get torso. And you were looking for a torso, and there's one in the gallery. So I guess that's really the part of the body exam, and I know people think, like, brain or heart, but... Think about it. Bad. You don't really examine your brain. There's our torso. Uh, let's see. Oh, looks like Robin's at the doctor's office. Let's watch. Ha! Huh. Can I help you? It's her, Marie. I'd like to see Dr. Thornton if he's available. He's available? You a patient Empty. of his? No, I... I'll this out. Actually, I'm not here as a patient. I'm a producer for Case Unsolved, the TV show. I'd like to interview him. Marie's just a little jerk, isn't she? A little spoiled brat. Getting her way, running around town, hooking up with married guys. Nice cushy gig at a doctor's office. Alright, let's see what we got next. Libation for an affectionate puppy called Sound. I'll go ahead and admit this. Um, when I record Sounder this video, might be a key clue. I totally thought this was something. What does an affectionate was. puppy do? So I'm gonna go and solve a puzzle. Then I'm gonna spend some time running around. Uh, a drink could be alcoholic. These hints are what I should be focusing on. Um, what I accidentally, um, what I thought it was, actually ended up being the um, solution to the next uh, hint that they give us. Not not this one. Um, needless to say, I've got to go solve a puzzle now anyway. I'm see the game room. Edward Knox and the bathroom are accessible now. Anything else down here? Nope. Um, the object we're supposed to be looking for is actually up in Brian Dutton's room. I'm going to save my game here now, though. Keep trying, Carl. You're getting closer. Wouldn't want it to crash on me at an inopportune moment. So, all the way upstairs. Um, we're gonna go to the game room. Uh, there's a puzzle in there to be solved. Actually, all those rooms uh, we're gonna be going to to solve puzzles throughout this act. Uh, the game room, the bathroom, and... Uh, this is Edward Knox. I don't know. It was the room of Edward and Eleanor Knox. I don't know why Eleanor is excluded now. If you remember the seventh guest, he was uh, kind of evil, but she was one of the only one of the only two good guys. Her and Hamilton Temple, everyone else was pretty evil, greedy. Uh, see, look, we can't interact with anything, but so there's probably a puzzle in here. There it is. All right, this puzzle. There's basically um, 
hidden lines of influence amongst the balls. Like if you click on one, there are only so many directions uh, that you can go, and you need to find whatever the, the hidden path to uh, get uh, the ball. That's not it, Carl. This one just a lot of trial and error. Um, I kind of remember the solution to it. I mean, I knew that those four balls in the bottom How of the right you're were just start. guessing. Um, and then you work your way around. Um, I took this one. And if while, at first you don't figure out which ball, the combination, you need to click on the first four. <laughs> but once you get the first four, it's uh, it's a pretty simple puzzle. This is definitely not it. <laughs> I'm going to get stuck Ooh, in the corner there. Close, but no cigar. All right, let's try again. Stash just a jerk. Oh, there go. Yep, there we go. Let me just go around the outside. Uh, this one again, a pretty easy puzzle. It just you know, it's, it's quick. Took a few Curse tries you. to get it. All right, now thinking the answer was uh, right over here. It's a dog in the painting on the right, the Irish Setter. Um, you but love puppies, Carl. Nope. I'm barbecued or broiled. Driving. The hint about the puppy called Sounders made me think is uh, that it was the dog. Are you ready to pop, Carl? Look, and he's giving me all these hints, um, so I'm gonna have to go search around and look for what it actually is. As a matter of fact, the funny thing is, the object we're looking for we basically already found before. Uh, we've already interacted with it. We already saw an animation, and when we do it again, it's gonna give us a nice another animation, the same animation basically, but for some reason. Uh, you know, look in Edward Knox's room since he seemed like he'd be an alcoholic. Um, but look, we can't interact with anything in here either. Um, so, it's probably a puzzle to solve, but we're not going to worry about that just yet. So, go back out. Keep looking. Go back and double check the game room. I mean, since it is. Unlocked and accessible. Um, keep going back to it. I know it's not there. It's a bug, and if I click it again, it'll work. Nope. Oh, be careful <laughs> now. You wouldn't want to get something right, would you? Oh, God forbid we get something right. Actually, to progress further in the game. No, not this time. Um, it's funny, I'm probably I think I'm looking at my other monitor and trying to figure out what it was. Gosh, I feel stupid when I saw it. It's like, oh yeah, duh. Well, like I said, it's been a really long time since I've played this game. And I'm playing it mostly from memory, so. Back in the hall, all the way down to the other end. Ryan up in this bedroom. Libation. What does an affectionate puppy do to a girl? Liquor. So we're gonna look for some liquor, which I guess champagne counts as liquor. See, it's closer to wine, but hey, whatever. I guess liquor is liquor in this game. Not to split hairs. So we're gonna go interact with the bottle and then pick it up in the next video.